Y'all thought the Ace family did a great job with gaslighting. Keemstar straight up saw that and he's like, here, hold my G Fuel. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, I want to start off this video before I jump into the topic of gaslighting to kind of explain a little bit of something I do to work on my mental health. So I wrote this book, Rewire Your Anger, and there's something that I forgot to add in that book, but I'll share this story with you real quick. So I, I had a lot of anger issues. That's one of the reasons why I started <laughs> why I started writing that book, because I had a lot of anger issues and I know a lot of other people do too, so I wanted to you know, teach people how I overcame those things. So one of the biggest issues I had when I first got sober and started working on my mental health was I just judged the crap out of everybody. I looked at everybody and I was just like, look at this jerk, look at this a-hole, look at this person, da, 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 right? But in, in, a, in an effort to work on myself, like what good was that doing? What was it doing for me? How was that benefiting me in any way, shape, or form? So full disclosure, I don't like Keemstar, love him, don't like him, but, <laughs> but anyway, so when I started working on my mental health, when I started seeing these people who I didn't like, I was like, how can I turn that into something that benefits me? How can I take every single situation in my life and use it to improve myself? So what I started to do was look at people who I wasn't a fan of and say, what can I do to avoid being that person, right? So for me, getting sober, it was seeing people with more clean time than me who were jerks or who were miserable or who, what, whatever they were, right? And I was like, okay, what can I do to avoid that, right? So that's something that I still to, do to this day. So when I see bigger YouTubers, when I see people like Keemstar or whatever, like even though I might not like the guy, like what can I learn from him, right? Because one of my biggest fears, one of my biggest fears on earth is being a hypocrite. Like, do you guys understand how often we judge people for doing something? something and we're doing it ourselves. It's something that I noticed when I was doing some um, some writing exercises is to kind of figure out the root of my problems. Like I was judging people for things that I was doing, right? For example, I was judging my parents for how I was raised. But when I got sober, I was being a bad parent to my son. So I'm like, oh, dang. Or when I was writing about my friends, oh, my friends don't show up for me. But then I was looking at myself, I'm like, I don't show up for them. Or, oh, this person lied to me. I'm like, wait, I lie to a lot of people. You see what I mean? So that really showed my own hypocrisy. So there's a lot of self-reflection we can do when looking at other people. So Keemstar being a bigger YouTuber, as well as a lot of other YouTubers who I talk about on this channel or who I don't even talk about on this channel, I look at them and as I rise through the ranks on YouTube, I'm like, okay, what can I do to avoid that? So another good example is when I notice YouTubers burning out or having mental health issues, I'm analyzing these people and saying, okay, how can I avoid that? So a way that you can use that in your own life, here's a great example, aside from like looking at people who are jerks or a-holes or whatever, like look at people in maybe your career path, right? Like say you're a new teacher, let's say you're a first year teacher. You see a teacher who's been there for 20 years and they're absolutely miserable, right? Look at that person, maybe have a conversation with them and say, okay, what can I do so I'm not miserable in this job? Does that make sense? Because a lot of us want to, you know, um, rise up in a position at work or whatever it is, but we see other people who are miserable at the place where we wanna be. So analyze that situation and then model your life in a way that you avoid the pitfalls that maybe led them on that path. Does that make sense? But you can also do this in a positive way. Find people who are doing great and then model your path after that, all right? So anyways, anyways, let's jump into this, okay? So. Yeah, those of you who don't know what gaslighting is, gaslighting is a form of manipulation, okay? It is actually something that originated from a super old movie, I forgot what the name of it was. But it's a technique used by manipulators to make you question your own sanity, okay? This is something that a lot of people have dealt with in abusive relationships and all of that. So I'm going to be using clips from my girl, Ashley Kyle. Uh, she has a, a channel here on YouTube. She's an awesome woman. Go check her channel out. If you wanna get the full tea on the situation, go check out Ashley Kyle. So I was just kind of on Twitter last night um, while I was hanging out with Tristan. We were watching YouTube. Have any of you watched that channel, Mr. Gigi? Dude is hilarious, right? But we're looking around on t Twitter and I saw that uh, 
people were losing it over Keemstar and he was getting into it with the channel tea spill. And basically what happened was, was Keemstar compared um, Erica Costell to Eugenia Cooney. So earlier today, Keemstar tweeted this photo that had the caption, Eugenia Cooney 2019. Now, if you are unaware of who this photo belongs to, it belongs to Erica Costell, which is Jake Paul's ex-girlfriend. So basically he said Erica Costell is the 2019 Eugenia Cooney because she had a picture and you know, she looked thin in it. And I've made videos on Eugenia Cooney and I, I hope, you know, those of you who know my channel, like I, I legitimately want people to get help. I want people to, you know, um, learn from others and maybe recognize that they have a problem or whatever. And you know, even though it's not confirmed and I'm not here to diagnose anybody, like it, it looks like Eugenia Cooney is very ill and maybe this is anorexia, maybe this is a health issue, whatever it is, but it's a very scary situation here on YouTube because this young woman, you know, isn't doing so great, right? And Keemstar used that as an opportunity to talk crap about Erica Costell being thin. So basically people were losing it on Twitter, uh, T-Spill jumped into it, Jake Paul jumped into it, and yeah, they were using the word body shaming, okay? So what is body shaming? Body shaming is using a person's body to insult them. Pretty much what it is, right? Calling someone too fat, calling someone too skinny. It's a pretty simple, easy concept to understand. So throughout this, T-Spill was tweeting back at, uh, at Keemstar and everything, and Keemstar was sending out other tweets, and then he manages to start picking on other people. And you guys, like, it's no secret, Keemstar is a bully. I don't like using that word with adults, but <laughs> that's what the dude is. So anyways, he ends up body shaming another young woman on uh, Twitter. Now in his tweet, he also included a zoomed in photo of her profile picture, and she's gorgeous, so I don't get it and obviously and very clearly body shaming her. And not only that, but once again, he knew he was throwing her to the wolves to his fans. He knew this. Now the girl went on to quote tweet Keemstar by saying, did Keemstar really just tweet my picture body shaming me because I called him trash for body shaming? But then T-Spill brings up a point. She says, you know, it's it's pretty pretty messed up that this man being the the father of a young daughter, you know, for him to go around doing this, right? And Keemstar lost it. So everybody has a hot button, and as a parent, I definitely understand that. When people talk about my parenting, it it can hit me hard, right? But that's another reason why I gotta manage my anger. You know, the other day when somebody made a video about me, they talked about my parenting. And I was surprised at how I handled that because I didn't even bring it up in my response. But yeah, I, I can definitely empathize with Keemstar. But, you know, they're bringing up a good point. So as influencers, as influencers, like my son is 10, he knows I have a YouTube channel. If, if he watches my videos, will I feel proud of what he sees? If he sees videos about me, how am I gonna talk to him about them and explain them, right? So basically what T-Spill was saying was that it's not healthy for the father of a young daughter to make this kind of statement about Erica Costell. You know, especially with, you know, young women having a lot, a lot of body image issues, right? And that's, you know, I'm trying not to stereotype, but it's something that I know a lot of young women who watch my channel struggle with. I've seen a lot of the comments and everything like that. So anyways, Keemstar jumps on Twitter to snap it, T-Spill, and he says this. Listen, T, stop talking about my kid. Stop tweeting about my kid. My kid is not online. My kid is not an online personality. My kid is not a YouTuber. Stop talking about my kid. You're over there calling me a scumbag and a dirtbag and all I'm complete trash because I body shamed. First of all, I didn't body shame anyone. I didn't. And if you're assuming that based on what I tweeted, then I think the body shamer is you. And in fact, if you have such a problem with body shaming, then why are you ashamed of showing your own face, your own body? You have an online series where you don't even show your face. So let's stop the body shaming right now. What do you look like? Show the whole internet right now who you are and what you look like. Come on, where's your face? Upload a vlog of you talking 
or are you ashamed? Do you support body shame? So what you saw from his earlier tweets, as well as this video, is Keemstar is gaslighting, okay? So Keemstar is basically, he's trying to make you feel bad. He's trying to take this, this thing that he did, the body shaming aspect, and he's saying, no, 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 no. I wasn't doing that, but if you think I was body shaming, then you have an issue. Mwah, Keemstar, gaslighting at its finest, right? So think about an abusive relationship, and no, I'm not saying Keemstar is the same as a domestic abuser, so please don't think I'm saying that, but I'm just giving you an example because gaslighting often happens in abusive relationships. If you even look at the comments on my Austin uh, McBroom uh, Ace Family video, you'll see the comments when I ask people if they've been gaslit, right? Where somebody takes something like this, they'll do something to harm you and then make try to make you feel bad for it, right? And this is messed up, okay? But thankfully, a lot of people on Twitter see through Keemstar's tactics of doing this. And and yeah, what he was doing was body shaming. So basically what I what I, like my assumption is either he's gaslighting us or <laughs> we gotta feel a little bad for Keemstar because he doesn't understand the definition of body shaming. So one of those two things. On one of them, he's gaslighting the other one. I just feel kind of sorry for the guy. But anyways, remember how earlier in this video I was telling you one of my biggest fears is being a hypocrite, right? So Keemstar claiming that he doesn't body shame anybody, one of my loyal rewired soldiers out there brought up a good point. And looking back a few months ago when I made a video about uh, Keemstar, you know, claiming to be uh, an advocate for mental health in some ways by defending some people, he, he took a shot at somebody else, talked about depression, talked about, you know, them offing themselves and things like that. And then Keemstar came at me and he was talking about this. So anyways, here's another lesson for everybody out there. Just remember, use your prefrontal cortex, have some impulse control, get some logical decision-making, regulate your emotions because never forget, never forget the internet is forever. And with all of the, the T channels we have out there, with all of the, uh, <laughs> the internet investigators out there, just remember, you can't get away with saying things and then try to act like you're not that person because there are receipts of these things. You know what I mean? So again, don't be a hypocrite. Don't gaslight people. And try, try, try your best to learn lessons from people even if you don't like them, all right? But anyways, that's all I got from this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get some exclusive content, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.